Well, hey there, everyone. It's me, Esther Barkew, and I am here today to offer you a class answering one of the most asked questions that I get when I'm doing readings, private sessions, inner work sessions. And I really believe that this information will be valuable to you right now as we're going through this situation in the world, but also moving forward. This will be information that you can use as you expand a fourth. Now, I had planned to do this as a live YouTube event so I could tell people to join me and have live questions coming in, but I realized I need to learn the technology a little bit better. So what I'm doing is recording this class instead. You see, I have my notes here with me of different points that I wanna make. So if you see me looking off to the side, I just wanna get all the information in for you. But there is a comment section below. So if you need additional clarity, have more questions about this specific topic, if you are thinking, oh wow, that was a really good point. I didn't know that before. Please put it in the comment section. I am going to monitor very closely the comments and answer your questions for you, okay? So I'm really glad that you're here and that you are joining me and we're going to take some time to do some really great inner work. All right, so the question is, what if you have someone in your life, maybe it is your husband or your wife, or it's a child, or someone that you work with, or a family member, and that person is operating at a very low vibration. They're very low vibration, whatever it is. Maybe they're depressed, or angry, or discouraged, or frustrated, whatever it could be. And people will come to me, especially in readings, and they say, okay, can you shed some light on the situation that they're going through? Then comes the question, what can I do to help them? And then really the third question in that is, and how do I keep my vibration high? How do I keep my spirits up, my mood good, when I'm having to deal with this day in and day out? Okay, so those last two questions are the ones that I am going to address here today. All right, so the first thing that is important for you to know and understand is that you cannot change anybody's vibration. You cannot change anybody's mood or focus. It's all up to them. Okay, so often people think, oh, if I kind of dance around them a little bit or do a lot of nice things to them or pepper them with information or encouraging words or inspiration, I'm going to change their life. Okay, and while those may all be beautiful activities and actions to take, you cannot change anybody's mood or vibration. It's all up to them. Okay, so if you've been feeling responsible or that it is your duty to help somebody else raise their vibration or change their mood or make them feel better, I want you to abdicate that responsibility. It is not your duty. Each of us are responsible for our own vibration, our own mood. Okay, so that's the first thing that I wanted to tell you. They have to choose for themselves if they wanna turn their lives around and change their vibration. I often use this as an example. I tell people, listen, I could create a party for a specific person and have their favorite food there and their favorite music and their favorite people in the favorite atmosphere and have everything that they love there but I cannot force them to enjoy that party, to have fun, to be in a good mood. They're going to bring in whatever they choose. They're gonna focus on whatever they choose. All right, so the next piece of this is whether the person in question is someone you work with, someone you live with, a loved one who maybe lives away from you, you may spend a lot of time with this person, okay? So what do you do? And you're like, wow, this person's really going through this time. 
they're living in a very low vibration I get it it's up to them to choose to change I'm gonna abdicate my responsibility but what can I do and the first thing I'd like to say to you is please never lower your vibration to match someone else's okay that is counterproductive on so many levels and people do this consciously and subconsciously all the time because we think oh it's going to help if i just kind of lower my vibration or meet them where they are at or sometimes the words that come through i will help them they'll think i care okay it'll create camaraderie or friendship or they'll know that they are not alone but the problem with that is when you lower your vibration you're doing a disservice to yourself you're not helping them at all and now you've got two people in a low vibration and it's going to gain momentum it's going to gain momentum and then it will be like a virus spreading from one person to another okay so please either hold your vibration or raise your vibration consciously and deliberately continue to raise your vibration around that person I really believe you can never get sick enough to help a sick person get healthy and you can never get poor enough to help a poor person get rich and you can never get depressed enough to make a depressed person happy and you can never lower your vibration enough to raise the vibration of another all right so the best thing you can do as I said is maintain your vibration or raise your vibration and when you're doing this you are creating a vibrational atmosphere let's say you live with this person or you work with this person you create a vibrational atmosphere of high vibes that they can choose to tune into or not they can choose to receive or not they can choose to be positively influenced or not okay now how do you know that your vibration is having a positive effect on a person okay that is another question that comes up in these readings I am sure for those of you who have been on this conscious journey of ascension for a while you've had people come to you and say you know it feels really good to be around you I always feel better after spending time with you I just like to be in your presence and already I feel uplifted and you're not doing anything in particular you're not saying anything in particular you are just being you being the light that you are holding the vibration that is your foundation and they are noticing the effects of it okay and so that's when you know that's one of those little signs and signals hey just me holding my vibration is making a difference all right good now as you hold your vibration and as you raise your vibration the people around you there are three let's say outcomes that could happen now the first thing is a person may come up to you and say wow I really like watching you I love watching you interact it feels good to be around you um, I always feel better you always have the right thing to say why are you always so happy and positive even when situations are not always the best you always have a, a great outlook on things you have interesting perspective on situations please help me tell me what is your secret <laughs> okay it's not a secret it's just raising your vibration to align with the source energy within okay and you see everything in a whole different world it's no secret but to them they might say what is your secret and when a person comes to you and says that well now they have opened the door and they are giving you permission to walk through that door and say hey 
Have you thought about your situation from this perspective? Hey, I've got some information for you that might be interesting. Hey, do you know that everything is energy and all energies have a vibration? And when you raise your vibration, you tune into your inner guidance, you move into alignment with your wishes and dreams, more good begins to flow into your life. Okay, so that is one way people may respond to you, right? When you're just being you, holding, raising your vibration, being the light that you are. Now, some people may push back. Okay. And they may give you that big F you. I don't want your positivity. I don't want your positive thoughts. I don't want your perspective. Okay. They lash out at you. And here's why, because they're swimming in a low vibration and their inner being within is going, wow, this person is so out of alignment. And this person knows that they want something better. They know that they want the confidence, the joy, the love that you have. But they are in such a vibration right now that they're going to lash out at anybody who has what they want and they seem to think they can't have it because they feel powerless. Why do you have it and I don't? And if you have it and I don't, I'm going to do everything possible to make sure you don't have it. And then they can come at you with uh, criticism and judgments and who do you think you are and you think you're so smart and wow, you know, you're not a, such a great singer. I don't know why everybody's so crazy about how you sing or how you work or your your sunny disposition. I think it it's false. I, I think it's not good they could come after you they're going to push they're going to push because they really want what you have and they feel powerless they don't have the information yet they don't have the awareness and the wisdom yet yet because they can turn it around okay some people might even cut you out of their life then say i i don't want to hang around with you anymore because they want to be with people who are vibrationally compatible, right? Who are going to commiserate with them. That's why there's groups, right? The groups band together and they talk about their problems. So they're like, yes, yes, I get it, I feel good. But they never get anywhere because nobody's there to raise the vibration for them or offer them that alternative perspective. Okay, so that could happen. You could get some pushback. That person could walk out of your life. It may be for good. It might be temporary, but please do not lower your vibration for them. Okay, keep your vibration high. All right. Now, also the third way someone might respond to you is they're going to push back at you. They're going to not like your changes. They're not going to not like what you're doing. They're going to uh, feel defensive. Defensive is an energy that comes up. And then after their feathers kind of get ruffled a little bit, you'll see something click in and they'll go, okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me look at this a little bit more closely because this person has a pretty good life. And good things always seem to come to them. And everything seems to always work out for them. And they always seem to have this attitude that everything's going to be okay. And what I notice with them is that everything is okay. And then they'll come up to you and they'll say, you know what? I'm sorry for how I reacted and I responded. But I'm also watching and observing. And I think you can help me. I think you know something that I'd like to know. And again, that person opens up the door and you can slide in with, hey, watch this movie, read this book. Let me tell you what worked for me. Maybe it might work for you. Okay. As soon as that door is open, that's when they are open and receptive to receiving the information. Wait for that door to open because if you force that door to open or you're trying to shove information underneath the door to get it to them, 
the receptivity is not there, okay? And please remember, when somebody pushes back to you, okay, your child, your husband, your wife, a family member, your coworker, when they're pushing back at you, they are not operating out of true self, okay? They are out of alignment with true self. They are out of alignment with that spark of source energy that is within them, okay? And that's why the push is coming. That's why the anger, the defensiveness, the comments are coming. And so begin to realize that and say, wow, they are obviously very out of alignment with their true self. And hold your vibration. If you want to pray for them or think positive thoughts towards them and just say, you know, universe, realign them. <laughs> you know, whatever it takes. I pray that they get into realignment again. Okay. And that will also begin to shift your perspective. We're going to talk a little bit more about that as well. Okay. Um, next piece is, okay, so here's the next piece. So as you're going through this process with these people, you know it's not your responsibility to raise their vibration, put them in a good mood. It's up to them, it's their choice. You know now to keep your vibration, keep your focus, keep your joy, right? Maintain it or raise it. That's gonna be the best for everyone. People may respond to you in three ways. They might say, ooh, I love what you're, what you're doing. You feel so great, tell me, tell me, tell me, okay? They might lock down and they may push back real hard. And you may walk away or they may walk away, okay? And the third way is they might push back and then recalibrate and say, wait a minute, I'm so sorry about that. I think you've got something for me. I wanna know what you're doing, okay? So how do you keep your vibe maintaining it or raising it during these types of uh, situations. And really, you just choose it. You just determine that nothing is more important than I feel good. Because I know when I feel good, my vibration is high. I know when my vibration is high, I'm in alignment with my inner being. I know that that's when I am going to get all the divine guidance and information and impulses and inspirations to help me in my life. I know then that's when good begins to flow into my life. Okay, I know then that's when I align with my wishes and dreams. So nothing matters more than I feel good. I keep my vibration high, and that is done by being a conscious and deliberate manager of your vibration, which is comprised of your thoughts, your feelings, your emotions, and I'm gonna put actions in there as well, okay? So you just choose it, and you do it, all right? So that is um, so important, okay? And then, if you feel that spending time with that person creates a wobble in your vibration, okay, know on some level you're allowing that person to have a little bit of power over you, okay? So I would just ask within, okay, what's going on inside of me that I'm allowing that person's vibration to affect my joy, my mood, my vibration, okay? And it could be many things. It could be, I feel guilty for feeling so good when somebody else is not. People feel this around money. I feel guilty for having money when my sister doesn't. She struggles about it. Or I feel guilty that I've made all this money and other family members don't. Or I, I feel guilty that I'm getting all this praise at work and my coworker is not, okay? So it might be something like that. Or maybe there's still remnants of, I don't feel worthy to feel this good when everybody around me is, is not feeling good. Or there's a feeling of, I'm not worthy, I'm not deserving. Um, 
if I don't connect with them in a lower vibration, I'm going to lose all my friends, I'm going to lose all my colleagues, I'm going to lose my family, and then I'm going to be alone, and I don't want to be alone. So you see, there could be different cores to that. All right, so do your inner work and investigate what is the core belief, the core thought that allows somebody else's vibration to affect yours. And just really keep focusing on self-empowerment and how do you empower yourself and be confident and deliberate? You just keep lining up. You keep lining up. You keep lining up with the inner being within. And how do you line up? You raise your vibration and you just do it step by step. Just keep raising your vibration, raising your vibration. What is my feeling right now? Is there a better feeling state I can be in? What is my emotion right now? Is there a better emotion I can hold? What is my dominant thought? thought and focus right now. Is there a better, higher thought and focus I can have right now? Okay, and raise your vibration. I, I know that sometimes people say, well, I'm just going to cut them out of my life and I'm going to walk away from them. And people do that. Okay, but I really believe as you align, 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 and you raise your vibration, you don't have to cut out people from your life right? Because you're, you're really empowered. You've got it going on. They may choose to walk away, okay? But you will be that beautiful, positive influence in their lives if they choose to, all right? Okay, so choose to keep your vibration high. If you notice a wobble, do some of your inner work, okay? So here's also something else, and this might be one of the top suggestions under this question, this meaty category here that I can offer you. When you are interacting with this person, look at them as their true self, as the light that they are, as that ball of energy, that spark of source energy, okay? Look at that, look at them, interact with them from that perspective. Okay, so let's say the person in question is very depressed and they've been depressed for a long time. Okay, so don't look at them as a depressed person. Don't talk to them as a depressed person. Okay, focus on them as their true self. See them, talk to them as a happy, healthy person full of vitality and curiosity and interest. Okay, speak with them, interact with them in the highest manifestation of who they be. All right, so when you are with someone who is sick, who is ill, who is down, who is in grief, instead of saying, oh my gosh, you don't look so good today, or you look upset, or you look frustrated, or oh, man, you look so tired today, or, you, you know, I, I see you as a depressed person, just interact with them by looking at them, observing them, and seeing them as the light that they are. See the beautiful, positive aspects of them. Focus on their creativity, okay? Focus on, you know, their generosity. Focus on a positive aspect of them, the higher manifestations of them, okay? Because when they are stuck in their lower vibration and that's how you see them, you're creating a, a snowball effect. You're creating momentum there, okay? So look at them as their aligned self. Absolutely, okay. Now, oh yes, this is important. This is very easy to do because I am sure that sometime in your life, you have looked at someone who's going through a hard time and you have either thought to yourself or said to them, I see the potential in you. They may not see the potential in them, but they see the potential in you. And I know I've had that through my whole entire life since I was a child. And I had very encouraging parents who always told me I could be, do, or have anything. I had aunties and uncles who were always telling me I could be, do, or have anything. I remember um, I was kind of forced to take piano lessons. I didn't really like it. I didn't want it, but 
it was something good for me to do and I was forced to take piano lessons and I remember defensively fighting back and saying, why do I want to, I don't want to take piano lessons. I'm not going to be a famous pianist. I don't, I don't want to be a piano teacher. I don't want to sit around and take piano. And I remember my auntie said to me, why not? Maybe you will be a famous pianist. You'll play in Carnegie Hall. And I looked at her because I mean, I had really not a lot of ability or confidence in playing piano. And I said, well, I'll never play at Carnegie Hall. And she goes, why not? And then she just walked away. And so I was very fortunate that I always had people around me who more than me at times really thought and felt that I could be, do, have anything. And when you interact with people and see the potential in them and talk to them in their true self, it may begin to create a nice shift with them. That person sees something in me that I don't see yet. How nice it is that that person sees something in me that I don't see yet, but I'd like to see it. Maybe they can help me to see it. And the door opens again. Yes, see the highest vibration of them, the source energy within and interact with them in that regards. All right. Now, I totally get that someone who is raging in anger, you may not walk up to them and say, I see the love in you. I see the light in you. I see your potential. <laughs> okay. If somebody walked up to me, I would say, thank you, sister. <laughs> I appreciated that. I needed to hear that. Um, thank you so much. And maybe if I walked up to you and say, I see the light in you, I see the love in you, I see the joy in you, even though you don't right now, you might be able to receive it in a very positive way as well. But people who are asking me these questions, it is likely that the person in question would not be very receptive to that. And there's going to be some pushback to it. So what do you do? Okay. Our thoughts create a vibration and that vibration moves out to the people around you and who are willing to accept it. So here's what you can do. Think it. As that person is with you and they are raging, they're in their low vibration, bring to the mind of, I see the light in you. Bring to your mind, I see the love that you are. I know you're just out of alignment with source. I know that. And I'm going to pray that you move into alignment. I see the good in you. I see the compassion. I see the creativity in you. Think it with your thoughts. It becomes a vibration and it pulses out of you towards them. Okay. It will shift the atmosphere of the room, of this, the situation, the scenario that you are in, and it'll be up to them to receive it. Okay. Remember vibration, thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And I'm going to throw actions in there, right? Because we often do actions with a thought, feeling, and emotion. All right. Okay. So that's it. That is the information that I want to bring to you and present to you on one of the top questions that I receive. Okay. And I hope that this has been valuable for you. What I'd love you to do is if you require more clarity, if you need more information, you have a question on this topic, put it in the comment section below and I will answer it for you. If there was a piece of information that really stood out to you and you went, oh my goodness, yes, I'm going to start trying that. I would love to know what that is. So write that comment down below. And um, I'm going to do more videos like this. So if there is a particular topic you would like me to address, please let me know in the comments section below and I will definitely take it into consideration. Now coming up, there is an energy process that I want to do with everybody that is going to focus on the lungs and the heart chakra. Okay. This came to me like two days ago because this virus that's going around right now is connecting its lungs respiratory right and the lungs are right where the heart the heart chakra is 
And for those of us on this conscious journey of ascension, we are working to expand our heart chakras, expand, expand the love that we are. The heart chakra, right? That's that middle ground between the upper chakras and the lower chakras. It is our connection. And I really believe on a spiritual level that this area is being targeted to diminish the heart chakra, to diminish that, that spiritual energy center. And I wanna do a energy process with all of you to boost it, to fortify it, to expand it. So watch for that to come up in the next couple of days. And then I am going to offer a couple of classes that will be sign up registration and there will be a tuition fee. But what we have decided, me and my team, that we're going to do like a sliding scale tuition. It's like choose your own tuition. I'm working with my web guy right now to see how we can make that uh, possible through the sign up forms because I want to make this accessible to everybody right now. We've got extra time. We've got great time to do self reflection and deciding what's important in our lives and addressing issues within that maybe we've put on the back bur burner and expand forth so that when we flow through all of this and we come out the other side, we come out in a higher vibration, a more expanded form, more conscious, and um, just ready to create an amazing life and an amazing world that we live in. All right, so I love you all very much. Thank you so much for being here and taking this time to spend with me, but also the taking this time for you. Love you lots.